Hey guys, and welcome to my newest video! So today I'm going to do a story time video! Yay! <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, so this one is going to be about a concert experience I did. Uh, well, I had, I should say. Um, this one took place about about four years ago now. Well, it will be four years in September. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, my friend and I, uh, my friend by the name of Rebecca, um, we went to a concert called uh, Nickelodeon Slime Fest. Um, Australia does it every year. Um, it's just pretty much like a con it is a well it is obviously a concert um just pretty much fun and games if you watch Nickelodeon you'd understand like the slime and all that all that kind of fun stuff so yeah but um the main reason we went is for a band called Big Time Rush um we had been fans of them since the show started on Nickelodeon and that was back in it was 2009 I was like 17 um so it was a pretty long time we were we were waiting for them to come out to Australia um so we were very excited when we heard they were on the lineup they were like the main act um if you guys don't know who they are I'll put a picture here um they had their own show on Nickelodeon they were a boy band, they're no longer together, but um, a few of the members are going off and doing their own things, so yeah, I'm excited all about that. But anyway, back to the story. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, I um, actually went up and stayed at my friend's place for the night before and the night after, or the night of. Um, so yeah, in the morning we um, had, for some reason, managed to find out where they were staying in Sydney. Um, honestly, I don't suggest you do this. We got so lucky because they weren't that well known. Um, but any bigger bands, I suggest you do not do this. Um, but yeah, we got lucky and managed to actually find out where they were staying and go and find them. <laughs> um, so yeah, we went and we had um, breakfast at the hotel because I did um, like a, well, it was like a, yeah, some sort of breakfast buffet thing they did. And um we sat in the corner, <laughs> in the back corner, um, and I'd managed, I was looking towards the door, my friend was sitting to, facing towards me, and I managed to see um, one of the members, who goes by the name of James Maslow, walk in. Now, um, he is definitely my favourite of the group, um, so I was like really excited, I was trying to hide everything I could. Um, trying to hide my fangirl if you want to call it that <laughs> but yeah um we didn't go up because obviously he was having breakfast and whatnot so we just gave him the the privacy and whatnot so we finished our breakfast and walked it and left so and we said then we went to the lobby and we sat in the lobby um and we had like a drink and whatnot and um, as my friend was going to order, she'd managed to spot the band. Well, one of the members of the band, and um, goes by the name of Kendall Schmidt. Um, and I actually got really excited because he's also my favourite. And yeah, once she came back, she told me, and we went over and said hi. Um, we managed to get photos. As you can see, um, this is obviously this is me with Kendall. Um, so yeah, as we were talking to him, um, James came out. Um, 
And I got really excited again and I walked over to to him and said hi and that um, like it was great that they were finally out, out of down under and and stuff like that and then um, oh, we got photos with I got photos with him which I'll put here um, so yeah that was um, pretty much that while again while we were talking to them the other two members of the band, uh, Carlos Penavega and Logan Henderson, came out. Um, we managed to get photos with them. Um, at the time, he was engaged to uh, Alexa Vega from Spy Kids. Now they're married with a son. Um, and then um, we got, I got a photo with him, said hi, congratulations on the engagement and stuff like that. And then I went over and uh, spoke to Logan. Um, Again, I um, said to him that we were excited that they were out in Australia and that we'd been fans for, I think it was about four years at the time. Um, yeah, so as you saw, I um, got to meet the band. The concert was absolutely amazing. I'll put a couple of pictures. But yeah, and all all round, it was an, it was a good experience. Um, I'm very happy I got to meet them um, because that was their first and last trip to Australia as what um, Big Time Rush. So yeah, I was really excited and so happy my friend found out that they were there and yeah. <laughs> So, as you can probably tell, I have rambled on because it was a big day, big couple of days. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it, favourite it, do what you got to do and all that jazz. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys know who Big Time Rush are, um, who is your favourite and what is your favourite song of theirs. Mine is definitely windows down, um, but yeah, <laughs> so as always, I will see you guys tomorrow later.